Good look up from, from both players to each other. We got it ready from both, so let's get started with match two. Game number one in three, two, one, Petrus. All right. Well, there we go. Let's see. J, Z, T, Lombard. That's Lombard. Okay. K9 with the 3 2 1 bits. Go, Andy. Go. If you would like to help contribute to the prize pool, once again, you can do so with Match Reno. Our prize pool is currently at $2,781 even. It is our highest prize pool that we've ever raised. And there's still plenty of time to raise it even higher. Fractal with the delayed O. Huck. Fractal, a uh, former CTL winner. He won it all the way back in Season 15. Actually, the cool thing about Seasons 15, 16, and all that is that uh, the true OGs will remember when Fractal uh, used, to, used to tap on 18 and 19 and then try to grip switch on 29. And then it would rarely work out because grip switching is just, it's just, it's definitely a method. I kind of fix Andy's cam a little bit. I do have him uh, kind of off center. So there we go, looking a little better. There we go. Got to make sure I can screenshot for the thumbnail properly. That Tiwi. Two thirty-five for Fractal, one ninety-six for Andy. Fractal starting on with a very, very efficient start here. 82% Tetris rate. 328 now. 351 at 72 lines. Plays Andy's 272. Now 295 at 70 lines. Storm and Norman saying, One day I want to be the most hybrid player in existence. Purely DAS in 18, tap in 19, and roll in 29. Sounds like a recipe to early top out all the time on 18. Just kidding. <laughs> Power globe on level 33. True. Go well, Fractal still with a four and a half Tetris lead. This is a bit of a rematch from CTWC 2023 in the top eight where Fractal Andy faced off. Can you believe CTWC is in a little over a week? That is uh, kind of crazy.
And we are slowly but surely nearing the 19 transition. Less than 20 lines to go. 521 for Fractal, 486 for Andy. Fractal still with a two and a half Tetris lead. It looks like he is set for the 600k transition. Steel on Twitch saying flat controller versus sideways controller battle. Also the ever so classic lotion versus glove. Who will prevail? Looks like Andy's going to set up a level Tetris into transition. Fractal transition has 661, actually 630 something. He took a Tetris. 605 for Andy. So here we go. First 19 transition of the set. Very, very efficient game right now for these two. 80% Tetris rate for Fractal, 73% Tetris rate for Andy. Not a lot of droughts. And I know I just jinxed it, but... Not a lot of droughts. <laughs> Andy with the JP LP piece of dependency converts it into a Lombard dependency. Solves the dependency. Bangs on the Tetris now. 716, 746 for Fractal, who is uh, in a bit of a situation. He needs to survive this. Looks like he is going to survive this fairly quickly. Just going to cost a significant amount of burning. Which Andy can utilize it to his advantage. Bangs on the Tetris only behind by 6,000 points. Had to close down his right well. Oh my god, burst it with square pieces yet again! 70s trip. Oh no, that's not white bat. <laughs> this one isn't white bat. Typically we use white bat, but uh, I... Abusing my YouTube editor powers. Use a mix of white bat music and uh, this current track from Xenoblade. It's called Counterattack. And Andy having to do some burns right now. Only is now behind by a hundred thousand points. Four and a half Tetrises. Takes a triple, but Fractal is clean now. Andy just not getting the right set of pieces. Takes another triple. Has to burn this down as quickly as possible because he's losing a lot of pace and he's not in any position to Tetris anytime soon. Five Tetrises behind is Andy. Fractal already with a max out. And Fractal extending these, this lead even further. Andy with a JP dependency on the left side solves it. Oh, doesn't solve it. Hits the five tap for the Lombard on the left. Still needs a JP still on the left side. Fractal transition with a 1.1. Andy solves his dependency into transition with a 938 after that Tetris. So here we go, off and running with a first 29 transition. Andy starts off with a misdrop. He's doing a great job at solving this, but still needs to do a, to do a bit, bit of work. Yet to max out. Lombard dependency on column 2. Solves the Lombard dependency. Fractal in a bit of trouble right now. He needs to survive this. Hangs the J-piece and hangs the Lombard. That's going to do it for Fractal topping out with a 9... 1.16. So, Andy, 1.16 is the score to beat. If you were to line out the entirety of 29, this would be about 150,000 points. So, Andy needs a Tetris or just a combination of triples. Oh, man. Overshifts that piece on the left side. 
Oh, now Pang's a TPs. Takes the five tap with the Lombard on the left. Really just needs one Tetris. And to line it out the entirety. Actually, he needs like two Tetrises. That's one Tetris now with 1.08. We'll need to line out the rest of the way after he gets one more Tetris. Once again, 1.16 is the score to beat. Goes for the triple. Only behind by 58,000 points. Oh, needs a long march to the right side. He's a T-piece. Once again, failing the chase down. When he's stripped, think of the follow. Got away from both players. Let's get started with game number two in three, two, one. Petrus. Hello, Kuro Fox. Welcome on in on YouTube. Oh my god, Andy with the calibration. Starts off with the Lombard dependency. <laughs> Zal is saying, these players around the age of 30 will be super proud to have 800k PBs. A bit high up there, but does get the long run time for the Tetris. And I heard K is pretty good. Andy with a flat J tuck. And, uh. Hold on. Trap Daniels won. Thank you for the follow. Two oh eight for Fractal, two ten for for Andy. So pretty safe and efficient start here for these two. Welcome on in, a net runner on YouTube. Fractal with the Lombard Apprentice on the left side. Oh, now in a lot of trouble. Was zipping that L piece to the right. And he also not in any position to Tetris. Had to close down his right well, but thus solve the. Uh, dependency on the center. Banks on a Tetris now. 285. This could be Andy's opportunity to take a lead. As we are slowly but surely nearing the 19 transition. Fractal with a very, very scary spire on the right side. And Andy now in a bit of trouble. Look on in, Mr. David. Andy needs something to solve that jagged board and past the lands thank you for the follow stan neslo with a tier one gift sub to ian keith and he's open on the right side banks on a tetris so now has to do a bit of burning here to uncover that hole on his left well fractal's just been stuck in the stig
And Fractal is cleaning this set down. Still not behind, all things considered. Fractal does take the lead, but... This lead is not really too significant. Kuro Fox on YouTube saying, I think maxing out with Das is still held as one of the highest rewards, right? I don't think that has changed much. Well, yeah, maxing out with Das is always very impressive. Three fifty-nine for Fractal, three ninety-seven for Andy. Both players are now clean. Triple flip max, yeah. How many people have maxed with only triple flips? Four twenty-seven for Andy, oh, for Fractal. Four forty-seven for Andy. And he sets up a J Tuck or his S spin. Goes for the J Tuck and is gonna be Tetris ready. Fractal still in a bit of a situation and set up for a dirty Tetris, waiting for the long bar, getting dried up, it hits the dirty Tetris. Transitions at 483, Andy transitions at 520. So a little bit of a suffer for these two. But Andy still with the advantage. Nice solve there with the T piece to accommodate the J Tuck. And he's Tetris ready. Sets up a bit of a jagged board at the moment. Needs an L or J. Gets the L piece in time. Now it's got to be Tetris ready. Both players experiencing the same. Drown a Samuel Tetris. 545 for Fractal. 600,000 for Andy. Fractal with a J Tuck dependency. Creates a hole in his stack to try and solve this. Andy has a hole in his stack as well, but does solve that. And Fractal bangs out of Tetris, still behind, but only by 30,000 points. Andy trying to avoid the Lombard dependency. Nice! I don't know if that was intentional, but it did work out in his favor. He should have just kept a uh, stoic face, and I would have definitely thought that was an adjustment. Andy is set up for a dirty Calm 5 Tetris. It is a center wall Tetris. And hits a dirty center wall Tetris. 726. Fractal has chipped away at the lead. We are neck and neck. 749 plays 759 for Andy. Fractal still doing some more burns as Andy is clean. Bangs on the Tetris trying to capitalize on this dig and he is now doing just that ahead by two tetrises fractal uncovers that hole in his stack, op stack opens up his right well and his tetris ready 796 for fractal 855 now 887 for andy as we are getting Closer and closer into the 29 speeds. Looks like a uh, max out potential for Fractal into 29. Andy with a potential 1.1 into 29. Less than 100,000 points separating these two players. Andy is cleaner right now. Fractal with a hole in his stack. Does uncover the hole in his stack. Bangs on Tetris. Can set up two more Tetrises before the 29 speeds. Andy with a max out can set up two more Tetrises. Solves the cheap piece of penalty is Tetris ready. Bangs out of Tetris now with a 1.06. It's going to transition with a 1.099 if he gets his next Tetris. Fractal auto transition with 1.01 in a bit of trouble here. 
Not a bit bursted with square pieces. Gets a nice square tuck on the right side. But still not out of the woodworks yet. And he now with a 1.1 is Tetris Radiance with a Saturn Wolf Tetris. 120,000 points ahead of Fractal. Fractal opens up his right wall looking at that trade. Double flips that J piece. Looking to survive this as quickly as possible. Needs something to the left side. Needs a J piece. Or a Lombard. Hangs a Z. Gets a Lombard. Is Tetris ready? And gets a Tetris. But it's still behind by 80,000 points. Oh my god. Five taps that Lombard all the way to the left side. Could he actually survive this? He's still alive. No, it's he's not getting the right pieces for it. And both top out with a 1.08. And he has tied up the set. We got a rage from both, so let's get started with game number three. He's breaking free in three, two, one, Tetris. So same piece that's is confirmed. Bano 2 2 2 with the 22 22 super chat. Thank you so much. That is greatly appreciated. It's the 2 2 2 guy. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're doing well tonight and hope you are enjoying. This match. Fra <laughs> Kingsman saying Fractal gonna bust out the level 19 in the decider. You know, I think I think what happened with Alex T is that he wasn't sleep deprived. Every time he complains about only sleeping like an hour or two last night, he ends up sweeping his opponent. He didn't do that against Gerald yesterday. And uh Oh my god, how am I gonna say this? Botten Hoinho, thank you for the follow. Two twelve for Andy. Two no one seventy one for Andy. Two twelve for Fractal. And Vinny nine twenty seven. Thank you for the follow. Andy looking for the Lombard, getting a bit drowded right now. JP Sependent had to create a hole in his stack. Waits for the Lombard, but now has to solve this situation. Yeah, exactly. Get good sleep, lose that Tetris. That Oddish guy, thank you for the follow. Hydra Werewolf on YouTube asking, new to Tetris, is any of these two more likely to win than the other? Uh, no. I wouldn't say so. I think they're uh, both evenly matched. They've both crashed the game before. Both uh, CTWC contenders. Fractal did win CTWC. But uh, Andy has made the semifinals and the finals in previous occasions. What is Fractal's PB? I know Andy has like a 10 million or something, right? Unless he still has the 8 million from his previous world record. Uh, Andy having to do a bit of cleanup right now. Four and a half Tetris is behind a fractal. Steel C, thank you for the follow. 
normally rooting for Blue Scooty, is or was he in this tournament? He is in this tournament, and he's still in the tournament because he moved on to the semifinals yesterday. Beat the Dangler in a 3-1 and one victory. 492 for Fractal, 399 for Andy. So Fractal looking good to potentially take this game 3 if he keeps his efficiency going. Gargamel on YouTube saying I'm way better than both these guys. Real. <laughs> Colin on, on Twitch saying I'm also way better than these two. Gargamel saying, my top score is 35 million. Well, there you go. Can't wait for the next Game Scout video. This is Alex T. And he is about to make history. But how did we get here? 630 for Fractal, 538 for Andy. We're about to reach the 19th transition. Fractal with a JP of Penancy on the left side. Sorry, I was looking away from the mic to look at my phone. Fractal with transition at 677. Mazda transition right now. Andy at 584. So also with a respectable pace, but Fractal with a 89% Tetris rate. So Fractal still with a 100,000 point lead. Andy looking to catch back up. Fractal had to close down his right well. Got a bit bursted with those J pieces at the wrong time. And uh, ironically, after that uh, burst of J pieces, he was J dependent. Fractal needs to survive this. Or this could be an easy chase down for, for Andy. Man, just creating more and more holes in his stack as Andy only behind by less than a Tetris. Fractal will love a square piece to, but utilizes that L. He's doing some great survival. But Andy has taken the lead now and is going to bring this lead even further into his favor. At 783, Fractal 754 is going to be the Lombard dependent. Gets a three Tetris. Wow. Still JP Sepenis, though. <laughs> what? Wow. What a play there from Fractal. Still in the game and only behind by less than a Tetris. So we are neck and neck. Andy with a bit of a pace advantage, but still not really too significant. Literally like a few thousand points separating these two players. Max out for Fractal and a max out for Andy, both into the level 26. And Fractal once again having to do some burns. Lombard dependent in the center. Solves the Lombard dependency, but will love a T or a, like a J or L to set up this tuck. Doesn't get either one of those pieces. Now Lombard dependent on the left side has 13 lines to go before the 29th transition. Lombard dependent. Solves the Lombard dependency, but he's in a lot of trouble. Has six lines to burn. Five lines. Four. Three. Two. J piece with a double into transition, but Mist drops that piece. This could just do for Fractal. Hops out. And Andy 
will take game number three. W run, Steve. Thank you for the follow. And a ready from Andy. So could this be the final game of the set in three, two, one? Petrus. Whoever wins this game will get a cut of the prize money. Where we're currently standing at two thousand seven hundred and eighty-one dollars. Dano 222 once again with a 22 and 22 super chat. Picks, picks, picks. Rooting for Pixel Andy. Heart's wrong again. Oh my god. Do I have like heart dyslexia or something? Jeez Louise. Ninety-seven. Wait, shoot! It's Andy. I don't know. So I was right. I got gaslit for real, though. One hundred and six for Fractal. Seventy-seven thousand points for Andy. Both players experiencing a thirty-eight piece drought. And both being down a Tetris. 155 for Fractal, 108 for Andy. So yeah, pretty safe-ish tournament play for this these two. Chris Matt, thank you for the follow. Two forty-seven for Fractal. 225 for Andy. Fractal looking to force this decider. Bargamo saying, I feel like Fractal is the best at recovering from a high board. I guess that's the debate. I don't really have any personal opinion on that. Three thirty eight for Fractal, three sixteen for Andy. So pretty good set of uh, scores right now as we near the first eighty lines. Fractal in a bit of trouble right now. Oh, good lord. Oh, Hanks! That Z piece. Five taps that long bar. Fractal survives to see another day. 394 now. 416 for Fractal. 390 for Andy. Neef, thank you for the follow. Listen, listen, right? I know I'm supposed to commentate what, like, players are doing and, like, what plays they're making, but you ever just reach this point where you see somebody make a misdrop so bad that you can't even, like, you just gotta hold your breath? Buffer Buffet saying, still no opinion? Yeah. Still no opinion. Because I've seen, like, at least 10 people do really crazy digs.
He spammed his candy to help out Andy. Andy with a bit of a misdrop there on the Z with the S piece. This could still be like a like a T no actually a Z tuck setup. Doesn't get the Z spin tuck. Uh so has a couple of holes in his stack, but so does Fractal. Neither can really capitalize on each other's digging situation. Fractal is gonna be clean. And as I say that, once again, as a close down is right well, transitions with a 507 miss drops that S piece once again. Five taps that J. Man, those S's have just been brutal for Fractal this entire set. Andy with a left full Tetris setup. Oh my god, Fractal closes down his right well. It's going to be Lombard Dependent. Converts it into another set of dependencies, but opens up his right well, but has to reclose it as Andy hasn't been able to really do much out of Fractal's dig. Just a very, very set of unfriendly pieces for these two, but Fractal brings out a touch at 555. So does Andy, though, so maintains a Tetris lead. Fractal once again with a Lombard Dependency. Waiting for that Lombard that's not just not showing up. It's Tactic is saying, spam this beer to have a beer. Six oh three for Fractal. Three point two Tetris is behind a Vandy. And it's also ahead in the line count, so. This is looking very dicey for Fractal at the moment. It's going to be J dependent on the left side. Oh my god, these pieces for Fractal. And it's just not happening. He's not able to clean this up as quickly as possible. It's finally open, but it's now behind by 200,000 points. So at the very most, he can hope for like a 900k into 29, while Andy could get like a 1.1 into 29. Fractal gonna have to do a lot of burning. Why did I say burning? I meant like a lot of uh, efficiency on 29. 787 for Fractal, 912 for Andy. Nice tuck there. And Fractal now at level 28. Could this be the last we see of Fractal this season? Or will he clutch up in the 29 speeds? Is Tetris ready? Bang out of Tetris. 58 now will transition with an 894. Gets a T-Tuck. It's going to be Tetris ready. Waiting for the Lombard. Gets the Lombard for a Tetris now in 931. And Fractal is going aggressive. Hits the 5 tap there. Needs a Lombard. Is open on the right side. Bangs on another Tetris. 975 now with the 1 off. It's still alive and kicking as Andy is ahead by 89,000 points. But Fractal bangs on another Tetris now with a max out. And gets another Tetris behind by less than a Tetris. But keep in mind, he's ahead in the line count. So this could play in a factor as Andy bangs on that center wall Tetris. Fractal cannot let go of the gas pedal, but he has to he has to dig this down as quickly as possible. Keep in mind, we have a level 39 line cap. Andy in a bit of trouble right now. He needs a five tap to the left side with JP through a long bar. It's not getting either piece, though. Hangs a square piece. It hangs an L. So, Fractal. 45,000 points. It's what you need. So, 
get to 1.14 and you will be good. This is line outable. We've been seeing a lot of failed chase downs now. A square burst there, but does a great job of managing it. Nice double. Just a couple more burns. One more burn! And that's going to do it for Fractal. And we have ourselves a decider. Let's get started with game number five. The decider in three, two, one. Tetris. So, here's the thing, right? Um, I did talk about how these past few seasons, there's been of a a bit of a Artiago brothers supremacy. You're in the CTL. Dog has already been eliminated from the tournament. Fractal one game away from both players being out of the tournament. Uh, right now, starting off with a couple of burns, 81,000 points for Fractal. Dano 222 two, two, once again with a 22 22. Is that Canadian dollars? I forgot what the currency is. You got this, Andy. Go, picks. And K9 watching Tetris with the 500 bits. You got this, Andy. One fifty two for Fractal. Two zero eight for Andy. a uh, clean board right now. Fractal with a Tetris behind by two and a half, three and a half Tetris is actually. Fractal long bar dependent on the left side. Andy with the JP's dependency. Fractal with a spire forming in the center. And Andy still waiting for that long bar. Got the long bar in time. Fractal experiencing the same drought, but does get the long bar for the Tetris now at 272. Classic Tetris League response. I would just like to mention, I'm not, that was not me that responded to that. So, very toxic. Classic Tetris League, trademark, all rights reserved. Two eighty-five right now for Fractal. Now three hundred eight, three eighty-one for Andy. <laughs> this is what happens when P gets admin. I don't have admin, only on YouTube. Three fifty four for Andy. Uh, four thirty three for Andy. Three fifty four for Fractal. Not three seventy six. 
<laughs> Till that corporate line, yeah. You know how we are here in CTL. All about the all about the business. Now 401 for Fractal. 441 for Andy, both players maintaining this uh, efficiency. Fractal still with a slight deficit. Fractal with a dirty level uh, center wall Tetris. Why can I not speak today? Actually, I can't speak any day. Andy looking for a potential... Actually, you could get a 600k if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there you go. He can get a 600k if he plays perfect. Watermelon Dude, thank you for the follow. Bit of a drop forming right before transition. And Andy will transition at 591. Fractal at 508. Can set up one more Tetris before the 19 speeds. And will transition now at 533. So here we go. Final 19 transition of the quarterfinals. Andy's Tetris ready. Banks on a Tetris 642 ahead by two and a half Tetrises at level 20. Both players have to close on the right well, but Fractal opens his right well first. Andy unable to utilize any of those long bars for a Tetris. Dog watching Tetris. Think of the 500 bits. Saying. Go, Andy, go. Andy trying to clean this out, but Fractal in a bit of trouble. Nice flat double there with the J piece. Is open on the right side. Is Tetris ready, but has to close down his right wall to try and solve this hole in his stack. Nice adjustment there with the Lombard to accommodate the J piece, the L piece uh, dependency solve. Andy with a Tetris 714. Fractal taking a safety triple, but does bang down a Tetris afterwards at 663. Oh man, Ant Fractal going aggressive with these plays, but does get rewarded for his aggression. Bangs on a Tetris. Has to close down his right wall though. Opens it right back up. Just in time for the Tetris, and now it's 725. Andy also opens his right wall as Tetris ready. And bangs on another Tetris 814. We are neck and neck, but Andy still has a 50,000 point lead. Fractal, another misdrop. Solves that Lombard dependency. Uncovers that hole in his stack to solve that second Lombard dependency. And he has yet another Lombard dependency, but this time it's the Tetris setup. Will he get the Lombard? And a 30 center wall Tetris for Fractal. Andy gets a Tetris as well. 914. Plays 829 for Fractal. Andy with a call of 9 Tetris. 951, 861 for Fractal. So Andy with a definitive advantage as we near the 29 speeds. Fractal hangs that T piece on the left side. He needs to survive this. Now, oh no. Very uncomfortable pieces right now for Fractal. Has 14 lines to go before the transition. Now needs an LP that that Lombar is going to work wonders for his stack. Needs another Lombar on the left side. Goes for the flat burn. Opens up his left wall. Has six lines to go before the transition at 229 speeds. Solves the dependency right in time now. 886. It's going to transition at 889. Is Tadami looking to get Tetris ready? Oh no, Hayes and Lombar! And Hicks, another piece is going to actually just do it for Fractal. And that will do it. Andy. Will take game number five. And the decider.
Chi Chi's, and he was about to top out as well, so. Congrats to Andy for surviving the decider. Moving on to the semis. And once again, keeping the supremacy alive for another day. But, you know. That was the wrong winner scene. I'm sorry about that. But we're back. There you go. Two for Dan. As he bangs on attachers now only behind by 100,000 points. So doing a great job of capitalizing of dog. Uh, dog sting situation. But dog is clean now. At level 26. One off of a max out. Dan at 856. Dog. 997. So this next Tetris will give him the max out. And uh, I did see a Matcharino contribution. I believe.